look, even though I uh, had a go at splitting it, my Lily of the Valley is flowering. That's really nice. And all the ones bar that one, that one might come back, it's looking a bit droopy, that I split off uh, are surviving. There are number two. And that one, even though it's under the dripper, um, it's not being drowned, it's doing quite well. And before I go and get on with some work, we'll have a quick show of what's happening in here. We'll start with my peas. Um, they were the spare ones, so I stuck them in there. And I think I might put some more in, um, all the way across. Uh, these are all flowers for my mother, um, nasturtiums, we've got cucumber, bush cucumber, pepper, finally got a pepper, courgettes finally came up, um, out of four I've got two but I've put two different varieties in so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to get but look at the damage overnight this was a snail i found him though and he's dead now what he's done um if you can see this is starting to crack i've got i'm sure um i'm sure it'd not be long before there's something coming yes there it is look that is a pumpkin so we have more flowers here two different types I don't know if I can get close enough, I'll read the label. These are Sea of White, so it's a mixed pack of seeds. And oh, there's nothing coming up in, in the others. The others are supposed to be them, look. Now, all these are dahlias. All these are dahlias. And uh, my mum's going to be having some of those as well. All them. All these are dahlias. Right, we have the tomatoes, and I've put them into variety, only two of that type come up. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five of that type, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, sorry, each row is a different variety on them. So there's Moneymaker, there's Tigerella, there's a giant one and there's a Roma. Um, yeah, I've just told you all them are flowers. So we have some flowers and over this side it's another flower. Um, I didn't put a label on it because it was probably some of my um, seeds I saved from last year. So they could be anything more than likely um, something like a, um, an English marigold one that comes up every year well one that seeds itself and doesn't get affected by the frost um, this is the carrots I've just done another hanging basket and put a few seeds either side with the two begonias I've got left and this is what I can show you look it's lift the lift in the soil look at that uh, let's take that off so you've got three four of those um dahlia spikes coming up they're looking good oh, just sort of one back there. this is another lettuce that's not doing ever so well there's just one two coming in it spear strawberries and these are all pots for my mum of different varieties of mix of flowers so it's uh, she's I'd got a white mix and a blue mix and one or two other bits and bobs of old seeds that I'd got from the other year that had been off used so I've sprinkled things so she can just um, stick them in her garden and she ain't got to do too much work it, uh, and um, yeah. 
my plant sabo are doing well and this is a astron oh I can't say it but that's the label the bleeding heart's coming that's uh, good so that's my second bleeding heart I've got one already in the garden and I've got another dahlia sprouting away doing quite well beetroot marigolds sunflowers and I think these are the small sunflowers I think the other ones were the big ones some more dahlias these are ones that I saved seeds off of ones I got last year tomatoes these are the ones that are left that I haven't potted on um, I might I might do these two big ones here um, the rest but I might have to put some outside because I don't think I've got room uh, nasturtiums more marigolds they're only just starting to come up Belotted beans they're doing well first sign of a French bean these are dahlias um, I think these can actually now come down here they were suffering a little bit put you a bit more in the light um, running out of room running out of room I'll have to fight I'll have to budge some up That's... them a bit more light I moved them off the floor because I was frightened that they weren't getting uh, they were a bit cold they've been very temperamental the ones um, from the um, daily association have been very temperamental these have been as hardy as anything and they were from Unwin uh, let's just go around here this is the blue mix um, that I was uh, telling you about they can perhaps come out onto the floor now yeah, my lily of the valley is doing really well I did have three and only one seems to be coming up so uh, not happy this is me last uh, strawberry planter um, they didn't uh, look too good when I replanted them um, because these were actually in this tub and there was loads of nettles and all sorts going around them so I had to um, get rid of all the soil around the roots and stuff and redo them uh, even though I had got the spare ones I've decided to try and use the ones that were in because they were new last year so um, I thought I would not waste them so now I'm absolutely dripping with sweat um, and we'll get some work done it's quite warm in that tunnel I've not really I've only opened one window because it's quite breezy out here and uh, the sun keeps going in and when it goes in it's quite nippy so uh, I want to keep the tunnel nice and warm so I think that's about it Except for I can spot a Rexy trying to eat something. Rex, get out of that pot! The pots are being moved. Um, Rex don't reckon to actually go in them pots, it reckons to be the pup. Um, so I'm moving them this year. Right, let's go get some work done.